Hey guys, it is March 3rd, 2017, also known as Switchmas. Today is the Nintendo Switch launch, and I just might have a couple of Switch things. So let's go ahead and uh, check it out. We're going to open up my two Switches. I've got switch from Best Buy and I've got a switch from Amazon.com. I've also got uh, uh, some Amiibo and whatnot. I've got the hardcover guide, but the hardcover guide was uh, delayed for some reason. They're telling me I'm going to get mine like sometime like by the time the next Nintendo console comes out or something like that. So that's poop. But let's see what we've got. I've got some shit for it over here too. First things first, in preparation for Breath of the Wild. Uh, in preparation for Breath of the Wild, I've got Ocarina of Time Amiibo. It's pretty awesome. And I've got 8-Bit Link Amiibo. He's pretty awesome as well. I also have the Smash Brothers Link and the Princess Zelda uh, Breath of the Wild Amiibo. Um, on the way. They're not here yet. So let's get straight to the point and open up some stuff, huh? I'm gonna come closer to you because you're gonna want to see shit, right? Everybody wants to see shit. Yes, let's see here. This is from Amazon Prime because you can see it says Echo on it. you can actually hear me okay. There's my mouse. Yeah, you should probably hear me just fine. <coughs> oh my god. I thought this was going to be Amiibos and it's the actual Switch. Jammed into a box with Amiibo under it and Zelda Breath of the Wild under it. Wow, that could be the shittiest packaging I've ever seen. The box was like this and this was in there and the switch was literally jammed, um, cropped up like that on top of the Amiibo. That's ridiculous. That is serious horse shit. Um, good thing this was switched overnight, uh, shipped overnight or else uh, guaranteed my switch would be shit right now. So there it is, Breath of the Wild, awesome case. Reminds me very much of uh, a PSP game. So super cool, and here she is. Um, I will admit her, uh, the picture of her on the Amazon ad looks way better than the actual Amiibo, especially for a $16 Amiibo. But I got Prime savings, 20% off. You should really have Prime. So there she is, pardon the nasty light glare. It's also a new webcam I'm using today, so hopefully it's uh, doing a decent job. It's a little far away from me. I'm not sure why I'm sitting so far from the darn thing. So here is the Switch, which is interesting because it's much smaller than I thought. And I was expecting the uh, Switch to be in this other big box. So I officially have no idea what's in this box this is a oh my god this is a part for my truck this is not a switch of any kind actually a part for my mother's truck it came in one day I ordered it yesterday my glasses are reflecting so bad on the tv i'm gonna do that yeah i look like shit today but do we care i'm a gamer all right so let's open this up this is gonna be switch number two I could probably sell this for a fortune right now on eBay. But uh, that's horse shit. I don't believe in that. Scalpers are the devil. Scalpers are like a cancer. They piss me off. If you buy shit um, just because, like, you know, it's scarce, and you buy shit just to make it more scarce and to resell it uh, and keep someone from buying it at uh, regular cost, you suck, and we're not friends. I'm just putting that out there right now. And if you buy shit to resell it on purpose, things that are rare, like Nest Classic, and you know you're buying one that someone else could have bought at a normal price. Uh, you don't want it. You just want to resell it. 
then uh, you're just you're just not my friend. You know, we're not. And same as pirates. People are pirating shit, pirating Breath of the Wild already. Ridiculous. I spent my money on this. You can too. If you can't, don't talk to me. But uh, enough about that. So there's Switch number two. Um, very awesome. Right there. Um, the other side of the box is pretty pretty sweet. Looks like that. There's the other side of the box. I like the other side. So there she is. She's the new Amiibo. This is the Breath of the Wild 30th Anniversary Amiibo. This is 8-Bit Link Amiibo. Now, um, I'm due Archer Link Amiibo, and I'm due um, the Smash Brothers Link Amiibo. Oh, so here, this is the 64-bit, 64-bit, uh, uh, 64-gig 64 memory card. It's a SanDisk uh, Micro SDXC Class 10. It was like fifty, uh, twenty-one dollars free shipping on Amazon. Uh, can't beat it. So now I'm disappointed. I thought I was going to be opening, like, um, a whole other box, but there's like a shifter in that box. And who wants a shifter? I can still get closer. I can still get closer. I thought this was going to take more room than it did. So there you go. What's um. Pick a random switch and let's open it up, shall we? Oh, and I've got two cards, uh, $20 and $10 cards. Um, this one I gave to my daughter like two years ago for Christmas. For whatever reason, she just won't enter the damn thing into her 3DS. She doesn't care. And this was given to me uh, by a fellow gamer for my birthday because I'm 41 as of like a week ago. <clears throat> and I'm going to use that for something on the eShop. I just had Chinese food, and my mouth is like, Bleh. oh, let's open a switch. Let's open a switch. Which one? Pick one. God. I don't know. They're both fucking same. Oh, now I feel like I'm too far. I'm too uh, close. Let's see. See, whichever one I open is probably going to be defective, so. Let's open... This one. There's no like tape or anything. I can just like slide it open. Just like that. That's sexy. There it is. I got two of the gray. I feel silly. I wish I got um I wish I got uh one of the colored ones, but I didn't. I got two of the gray. That's better. It, oh my god, it's tiny. I didn't know the size. I haven't seen one in person yet. And I've been avoiding spoilers, but it's uh, smaller than I thought. Look at a TV reflecting off of it. What a pain. So let me just pop that out. That's it. Are you kidding? There it is. Um, what's next? Joy-Con. Let's um, slip this Joy-Con out. There's one. Oh, sure. Now you're too close to me, right? There's one Joy-Con. There's two Joy-Cons. I would use my SLR camera, my Canon uh, 5D Mark II, but I am uh, missing um, the mini HDMI cable that it would require. HDMI cable, AC adapter. Um, somewhat disappointing how big this is. Um, it definitely diminishes the portability of taking the base with you because this is huge. Oh, but it's this is USB-C, so I could charge the Wii U directly with this without needing the base. Duh. But still, kind of huge. I was hoping it was more along the, the lines of the 3DS plug, which is nice and flat. Um, though I'm guessing you could just get a USB, uh, USB-C with a USB, USB end, 
And when you go to hotels these days or even Dunkin' Donuts and whatnot, uh, Manhattan Bagel, they have a USB-C in the wall. You can plug it right there. Won't even need this stupid block. Just get the damn cable. So I'm definitely going to do that. So that's there. These are the grip. So cool. At first, I didn't realize it came with the grip, but it does. Um, here's the grip. The buttons on the grip feel interesting. It's pretty springy. Very, very springy. There's the back side. There's the top side. Player indicator lights and these uh, little buttons. <coughs> <clears throat> two of those man people are saying oh this thing is bulky it's not really portable bull donkey this is not bulky i can't believe how small look at it that's it that's the switch let's uh have a let's pull it out there it is that's the whole system um who can you see indiana jones jaws not uh not bulky at all. Quite tiny, actually. Quite sexy. Um, there's the top. There's the bottom. That's the USB-C right there. So it's super cool. I got a fingerprint on it already. And here is that much talked about kickstand. There we go. There's the switch. Next thing is going to be to put the memory card in. It comes with 32 gigabyte, but you know, more is more, right? Size does matter. So I'm going to put a, a 64 gigabyte in. That's enough because, you know, the really big games, the ones that are like, you know, um, 32 gig, whatnot, you know, 25 gigabytes, you're not going to download those digitally. That's dumb. Uh, get those on cartridge. You know, just get those on cartridge. But the majority of the games, normal games, are like 500 meg, 1 gig, 1.5 one gig. That's nothing. So a 64 gig card would hold an ass ton. Uh, and it looks like that. See, very tiny. It's a little thing. Um, sometimes you'll see they come with the adapter. Okay, the technology is the same. Um, actually, I should take the adapter out. The micro, okay, the micro, can go into the adapter right there, right? Boom. Now you have a regular sized SD card. You can use this on anything you want, including your computer, whatever. But if your device uses micro, like the Wii U, or the Switch, I'm sorry, you take this out and put it in the Switch. So the Switch micro card is hidden underneath the kickstand right there. So there you go. There's a 64 gig upgrade to the Switch. And you know, it's crazy. This game was covered so well, this machine is so well that I, I feel like I know everything about it. And I haven't even taken it out of the box yet. This is what I call the, looks like the bat wing to me. This is the charge grip. Very sexy. Very nice. Um... I've really been interested in what this really feels like and holding it for the first time. Um, it's interesting. I wish there were rubber grips here. What I would do is take this bowling tape. It looks like a spongy type tape. Um, it's for, you can put it, ooh, eBay. Yeah, a bit of my shiz. Don't tell me you can't afford a Switch. Sell stuff on eBay, give me a break. So um, I would take that soft foamy grip bowling tape and put it back there but that's just me so there it is switch parts are piling up piling up I will not be opening Breath of the Wild just yet because I'm not going to turn the Wii on um, I'm not set up to I'm set up to stream and record from the switch but uh, 
not yet. I have to admit it's here, but it's not here, if you know what I mean. It's not like plugged in the way I need it to be. So here's the dock. Sorry, I'm looking at it for the first time myself, so I wanted to see it. But there's the dock. You've obviously seen it before. Um, very interesting. Looks like we have to AC adapter. So you route it. You route the wires into here, and then you close it up. And the wires come out the back. This thing is going to be very neat, it looks like. Very clean in the system, which I like. So. Let's check it out. Why not? Since you're here with me. You haven't stopped watching yet. Let's see how it works. This is the HDMI cable. Looks like a reasonable quality cable. Kind of short. Um, average length. And then the same with the plug. I'm gonna take the plug. Man, this thing is like light years ahead of the Wii U. Let me tell you, this thing is so cool. What's the Wii U look like? Like a, like a Tonka toy. No offense to Tonka. And uh, no offense to Wii U, because I actually love the Wii U, but this is impressive stuff. So the AC adapter goes into the USB-C port. Um, oddly, I think the USB-C port is unidirectional. You plug it in however you want. If that's the case, like the lightning cable, that's awesome. Close this up. And that's the dock. See how the stuff comes out like this? And goes to your uh, receiver and your plug in the wall. There is the dock. Now, very cool. So we're going to take the switch and we're going to stick it into the dock for the first time. Is that it? Is that truly it? So smooth. I mean, it just goes right in. You don't even notice it. There's the sides. Look, those are USB 2s, I think. One of them is USB 3. One of them is USB 2. I think the USB 3 is inside the machine, uh, inside the back of the case here. Um, right there. That's USB 3, I believe. Um, it's blue. So, yeah, that's 3. And you know they have a, a reason for that. Um, probably some kind of a hard drive expansion in the future who knows what but they're not going to tell us but i believe these are twos two is still fast three is just crazy fast so that's the switch um that's the switch without the joy cons on so let's drop the joy cons on i've been told to be very careful about putting the straps on the joy cons it's my first time ever seeing them by the way Oh my God, they are so small. Sorry, I'm amazed by this. I can't believe how small. I think um, playing with the uh, with this on definitely makes a difference for the shoulder buttons. But let's go ahead and oh, nice trigger. I didn't even see that. I didn't even see the two shoulder buttons. Tricky. Let's go ahead and slide this on. If it was powered on, I believe it makes the click sound, the like that, the snap. But there's no echo. I don't have the reverb here, so so there you go. That's the switch, completely hooked up and in the dock. And now I can take it out and play. Oh, I didn't expect it to have shoulder buttons like this. I thought they were just going to be these flat little things. Um, it has nice shoulder buttons. I'm also a little thrown off by the offset analog. I don't know why I was expecting they were side by side, even though I knew they weren't. There's the plus. There's the minus. Neat. Super cool. Nintendo Switch. There's a reflection of me in the TV. Uh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Sorry, I'm trying to get an angle without reflection. It's just not going to happen. I just happen to have the camera at a bad uh, position. So there's the switch in the back. There's a front. There's a switch in the back. There you can see the shoulder buttons I was talking about. 
has a nice little lower shoulder button that kind of feels like you would expect from a regular controller. Oh, we have to build, we have to build the switch. We have to build the switch is, um, um, bat wing thing, the combiner thing. So how do you actually press a button, pick that up, press the button, pick it up. Neat. So there's a tiny, tiny little button that you push on the controller to get it out of the switch. Do you see it? It's right there. You press that button right there. By the way, there's the Joy-Con. Pretty neat. Um, here's the little bat wing. Click. This is the puppy dog controller. As they say, it looks like a puppy dog, right? Interesting. And notice the analogs have a very snug, like, you know, a lot of resistance. They feel tight. Interesting. Definitely feel different than uh, other controllers. The whole thing just definitely feels different from other controllers. But it works. Has an interesting little hook. You see it? A little hook there for, like, hanging it somewhere. Like on your wall, maybe. Maybe they're going to make an accessory for it. But there it is. It's very lightweight. It's very small. Um, much smaller, much lighter than I thought. I don't even mean much. Like, it just looks so much bulkier in pictures. Very, very cool. This is neat. Um, there's the switch with the puppy dog controller. So I'm going to go ahead and hook the dock up to my system. And, um, and, ah, and I'm sitting between my couch cushions. So uncomfortable. Keep putting my, yeah. All right, let's see. Oh, what's this thing? Oh, I lost my thought. Sorry. I'm going to go hook up my switch to the, uh, oh, it does stand up like you see in the commercials and all the advertisements. Look. Go hook my switch up to the TV and set it up. Put my username, my Nintendo ID, add some friends, charge it, um, all the good stuff. So I'm going to try uh, Snipper Clippers um, as soon as I have someone to play with, which will be soon. And then eventually, Zelda Breath of the Wild looks awesome. I love this cover more than the Wii U cover by a lot. So that's my uh, Nintendo Switch. I've got two. The other one is going to stay in the box for now until I'm comfortable setting up the one Switch. Then I'll set up this other one. And I'm going to use it for land play for games like Mario Kart, um, Bomberman, uh, Splatoon, anything I can connect two together and two Joy-Cons and play. Don't, why bother buying a second set of Joy-Cons, a uh, second dock when they're available, second HDMI cables, second grip, second everything. You just buy a second Switch. These accessories are so expensive that by the time you uh, buy them all, you can practically buy a whole nother system. The second console itself ends up being like $100 when you break it all down, which isn't, isn't much. Hold on a second. I want to see. Let's try this together. Cool. Yeah. I can't get it off. Did I put the right one on? I've been told to be very careful if you put the right one on, or else it could be hard to get off. To me, it looks the same. Oh, it's 
lot. <laughs> There's a lock button. Got it. All right, it was tight. Sorry, I didn't mean to go silent, but I was a little concerned. Uh, you gotta give it a good push. A little tight getting off. I'm sure they're gonna they're gonna break in. So I think I'm gonna set the Wii uh, the Wii. God, Wii is so ingrained in my brain. I think I'm gonna set the switch up using the doggy controller um, and my TV rather than portable mode, um, and then let it charge a bit, and then I'll try portable mode later. So that's my Nintendo Switch. I'm super excited. I mean, I absolutely love portable gaming. My 3DS is my favorite. I have like 100 3DS games and DS games. Um, so big, 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 big portable gaming fan uh, since going back all the way to Game & Watch um, for Nintendo. So I'm super excited about just not so much the hardware, but the games I'm going to be able to play on it and the fact that I can take them anywhere and uh, play outside. So thanks for watching. This is my Switch. I've got two more Amiibo on the way for now. God knows how many I'm going to have. I've got so many. Um, it's time for me to play a little bit. Breath of the Wild. Yeah. LPG out.